Hi guys, this is how to play power chords. This is how to play rock guitar power chords. We've Here we've got um, a rock guitar setting on our amplifier and I've got my first finger at 7th fret on the thickest E string. 3rd finger at 9th fret, which is the next dot on the A string. And then little finger on... 9th fret at the D string and I'm only playing the thickest three strings otherwise it's not going to sound great we're wanting just the thickest three strings the strings that have a uh, string wound around them not the ones that are like cheese wise so just play those three one at a time the note should sound like this and if we play them all together there's one sound it sounds like rock guitar power chords one more time Dial up the gain just a little bit. Sounds even more rocky. And then what we want to get used to is sliding up and down the fretboard, playing different frets, but keeping that same shape um, happening as we slide up and down. So if we go for a fifth fret power chord now, for example. All the same finger motions are still there. There's still a gap where your middle, if you turn more to me, there's still a gap where our middle finger is. That middle finger wants to be uh, facing your fretboard, not kind of out doing its own thing. Um, the same shape as all the other strings. And now, now let's go down to a third fret power chord, which is reasonably around as low as you'd want to go with these power chords, really. I'm going to go for a first fret one just yet. It's a bit of a wide stretch. Back to a fifth fret power chord. So we're keeping your first finger on a dot and your third fingers also on a dot. Play it again. Seventh fret power chord. And it can be useful to uh, know what power chords we're actually playing now rather than just thinking of it as fret numbers. So if we go back to the third fret and go in ascending order, third fret power chord on the thickest E string is a G power chord. Very similar to your open G chord. And then, so that's a G power chord. Sounds much more rocky than the open G, especially with a bit of overdrive on. And we have a fifth fret power chord, which is an A power chord. Very similar to your open A chord. And then seventh fret power chord is a B power chord, which happens an awful lot in um, rock and roll songs. A B power chord. The advantage for going for these power chords also is if we go back to this G chord, the G power chord, we could move to 4th fret and then play a G sharp power chord, which can be the equivalent to a normal G sharp chord if that ever crops up in a song. And until you kind of cover bar chords or power chords, there's no other way that we can play these sharp chords. So learning about the notes on the fretboard um, are a really good way to do that. And you don't want to do them all in order from fret 1, we have marker points. So these frets basically are our marker points. The first fret, the power chord is always wherever your first finger is. So if we go back to that first dotted fret, your G power chord. You know, making this a G power chord. That's the one we want to remember. And then going in alphabetical order, we're going to go A, two frets up from fifth fret. And a B power chord. And then we can even do, on some guitars, you can do an E power chord with your first finger at the double dot at 12th fret, which is one that I really want you to be aware of as a fret number. Really wanting that double dot to be solidified in your mind as a, where the two dots are on your guitar, that's the 12th fret very much so. And we can play, you know, any fret really, if you want to go for ninth or 8th, you've just got to make sure that those fingers are uh, in the same positions all the way along your guitar. Um, we then have what we call, that's a six string root note. So the root note is wherever your first finger is placed. And it's currently on the sixth string for all those chords we've just covered. We can have them on the fifth string root note as well. And if we do it at third fret, this would be a C power chord. Notice now that we're not playing that thickest E string, which is very important. We're not going to play this one because his first finger isn't on it. And that's our C power chord. Sounds very similar. 
to an open C chord. Far more rocky with a bit of overdrive. And then we're going to go for fifth fret on the A string as well, which is a D power chord. That's a D chord. And again, just for example, one fret up from that power chord would be a D sharp, which is easy to do if you can do the D one, but harder to remember. So we're going to stick mainly to what we call the naturals. The next one up would be an E, and that's going to be our last one for now. So um, there one more time, just to work for that E power chord. Seventh fret on the dots, that's the one. So there we have gone in alphabetical order. We've gone, apart from the G, which musically goes alphabetically, but that's kind of the last one we've got. So we're going to start from the G chord. G power chord, third fret, fifth string root note one more time. Fifth fret power chord. And on the E string is an A power chord. Next one, seventh fret root note. The first string it is. Just play the thickest three strings, and we have a B power chord. So we've got A to B. Next one is C, at the third fret. C power chord. Starting from the fifth string, so we really want to make sure. Playing just string 5, 4, and 3, not playing the sticky D one. I'm going to slide that up to the D now. Fifth fret, D power chord. And finally, your E power chord. So it uses the root note G. It uses the root note A. B. C, D, and finally E, which are the first notes that you should know, single strings on your guitar when you're getting into kind of power chorded lead guitar world. Thanks for checking out this power chords video, um, I hope that enables you to play loads of rock riffs, and uh, we will see you soon for more guitar lessons.